My earliest idea of who I wanted to be growing up was my father. My father was a police officer, and so I wanted to be a police officer. And then I saw a shuttle launch on television, and I thought, I really want to drive one of those. And yes, I said drive, because I didn't know any pilots or engineers even for that matter. I'm a public servant, and I have been for 22 years, since January of 1998. And so I ask myself, have I done all that I can for my country and for my family? I have fantasized about stepping on the moon. It's my dream. My dream is to work on the surface of the moon. And being able to launch humans from American soil is a very big part of that. I was sitting at my desk in the Russell Senate office building, and I got a phone call from a Houston phone number, and by the time I answered, I missed it. <laughs> and so I called back, and after a lot of waiting and being transferred, I was transferred to uh, Janet Cavandi, who was the chair of our board, and she asked me if I wanted to come to Houston and commence training. And I actually pinched myself several times walking back to my office. There is no way that this is a real thing. I'm gonna wake up and be so disappointed. When I woke up the next day, and I actually had an email from Janet saying it was not a dream. It was, that was actually unreal. <laughs> He's a lieutenant commander in the United States Navy where he flew F-18s. He came to us from Washington, D.C., where he was serving as the United States Navy Legislative Fellow in the United States Senate. Victor? Being selected for this job, you, you can't help but to think of, I've got so many friends that I know could do this job well. And, and that feeling of, wow, why didn't they get it? And you know, feeling like you're not really good enough cut out for the job. And I felt all of those things, being a father, a husband, all of those things come with doubt. And I think you have to learn to get comfortable with the doubt. They call things moonshots when people accomplish something amazing. No matter how good a story you tell, people are captivated by real world accomplishment. It's our generation's opportunity to have our own literal moonshot and then to continue inspiring future generations to reach for the moon. They not only have the right stuff, they represent the full tapestry of American diversity. Their journey begins now and the nation will be right beside them, reaching for the stars. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more NASA content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe on our channel.